On a recent visit to Syria, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, met with the president and other high-level officials to assure them that UNHCR will continue to support the government's efforts to help the Iraqi refugees. Yet he noted that UNHCR's operation is only a drop in the ocean when it comes to meeting the needs of all displaced Iraqis. But now it's becoming while visiting a registration center for refugees outside Damascus, Guterres underlined the continued need to support this vulnerable population. Well, I had the opportunity to speak with about 20 families, 20 dramatic stories, different stories, but all carrying the same appeals. An appeal for more international solidarity, Solidarity with the Iraqis displaced themselves, solidarity with Syria and Jordan that are coping with such a huge challenge to support them, and uh, the capacity to provide them better protection, better assistance in education, in health, in all the other aspects of their life. Violence has forced an estimated 4.4 million Iraqis from their homes. Syria hosts the greatest number, about 1.5 million. As part of the reinforced support for the refugees, UNHCR, together with other agencies, have regular distributions of food and household items. The current exercise will help 150,000 of the most vulnerable Iraqis. Each family receives rice, beans, oil, mattresses, soap and blankets. For those who can't go back, it was a welcome windfall. I don't think there's any more security now. I heard that people are still being kidnapped and the threats are still continuing. So I would not consider going back now. Despite some improvement in the security situation inside Iraq, few registered refugees have voiced a willingness to return. UNHCR says that 20 percent of those registered in Syria have been victims of violence or torture. For these cases, Guterres urged countries to offer more opportunities for resettlement. Many of these families will never be able to go back to Iraq. They've been submitted to torture, they've seen members uh, being killed, neighbors being killed. They they need to start a new life in a new country and more resettlement opportunities are very important for them at the present moment. Feel what are your problems? To reach the thousands of Iraqis who stay outside of Damascus, UNHCR will open a new office in Aleppo. The High Commissioner met with a group of several hundred refugees there to assure them they had not been forgotten.